So in this video, we're gonna talk about a typical day in the life, a weekday in the life here on the island. So typically what we do is Carol and I um, are the first ones up, which is really our alone time uh, together every morning. And we really enjoy that time. We go for a walk around the island, listen to the birds, look at the lake and the sun coming up. Really a special time. Then we'll uh, come back, start the generator so we can get some electricity to brew up some coffee and uh, enjoy a coffee together. And then the kids are up by that time, we do uh, our morning huddle and uh, get our day started. And so the kids will do a couple hours of school work. Um, we'll get a, ex some exercise in. We've got that Peloton exercise bike and we can do a real good cardio workout here. And it's basically a live class, so that's, that's a lot of fun. Um, over, it comes in over the internet. And uh, so Caroline, what she's working on, she's writing articles for different magazines. So she'll be uh, doing some writing. She's always editing something like the video you're watching now or any of these wonderful videos. Uh, she'll be working on doing some editing or posting on uh, different social media. So that's a lot of work that she does um, for our channel. Uh, the boys, um, Daniel of course is in high school. So he's busy doing, doing uh, school. Pete's in high school as well. But in terms of work, what he's done is uh, recently joined me. Um, he's doing a lot of sales or outreach for me, uh, running the CRM program and doing stuff that I used to do for our, our business, uh, our family business back in the day. But really, instead of doing it for the lawn service, he's doing it for a speaking service. So we leave the generator running for some time. It charges up our, um, we have a goal zero and some batteries that are charging by generator, but also by solar panel and then we can turn it off and run off of uh, solar electricity. Um, that keeps the internet going and, and our laptops are all charged at that point. So that uh, allows us to run without the generator. And then you can only look at a screen so long or stay inside so long. So then the kids uh, get outside and what they're doing is they're working on a project of scraping down and priming and painting a lot of the old um, original cabins here. Now they're all in excellent shape and the way we maintain them is uh, we've put all new roofs on them so that they um, will be maintained for many, many more years, but also by, by repainting and staining and just protecting the, the old logs, um, they, that will help also maintain these buildings for a lot of time. They're very historic, beautiful buildings. So that's a project the kids will spend a couple hours on in the afternoon, and then it's time to hit the lake. The lake, uh, people ask us, because we're in Ontario, in Canada, they get the impression that the water must stay cold all year, but it really doesn't. Down at the bottom it does, I'm sure. The farther deeper down you go, the colder it gets, but on the surface, the top 10 feet is just completely beautiful, warm, uh, comfortable swimming um, water. So we do a lot of water sports, windsurfing on days that are a little windier than this. Today's very calm, but in the afternoon it usually picks up. So windsurfing, swimming, paddle boarding, uh, all kinds of wakeboarding, all kinds of different uh, sports that we do out here. Mr. Charles, keep it up out there in Virginia, brother. Keep it up out there in Virginia, brother. 15 seconds, we're gonna do round two out of the south. Kids, throw that 65, 70 range. We don't waste time, because we got time to race. Out of the saddle, ticket it out to third. Race two, take it up. Pull it up, I got some dope on my mind. And it is absolutely beautiful. We can't find a better place to put a put a hot tub. This is a still water tub. It's just for soaking. Um, there's no jets or anything, and it's wood fired. It took us a while to figure everything out, but uh, it's super nice to be using it now. doing a pork roast, a uh, pork shoulder. I'm gonna get the smoker going here and then we'll go put some rub on it and get it in.
That is really smoking. Okay, so we're gonna leave it in smoke for about two hours and and then we're gonna turn up the heat and cook it for just on 225. Nice low, low and slow for maybe six, maybe seven hours. We'll hit it with apple juice every once in a while to keep it uh, moist and then wrap it near the end so it stays nice and soft. And uh, man, it's gonna be for dinner tonight. So the thing's gonna be going all day. home we picked this up it looks like a good door handle from Lake Superior thought it would look great on here So today I'm going to be attempting at making a bow stand for inside of our room just to uh, hold our bows against the wall. I tried making one of these yesterday but and I did make it but it was just a bit too big. Um, so I got a bit thinner pieces of wood stacked up here and I'm going to be using this.
Happy 4th of July, everyone. Yesterday, we received two packages from some of our awesome friends from our YouTube channel, and we are so excited to open them. Okay, this first box that we're gonna be opening is from our awesome friends, Mountain Adventure Camping. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Now let's look at what we got sent to us. Oh, this is cool. From our friends in Montana, big sky country. Montana is a place we want to do a lot more exploring. We've been there. We uh, have seen parts of it, but we are definitely going back and we'll be wearing our epic Montana shirts. Thank you so much, guys. This is She was talking about uh, these sweaters to us at the Overland Expo and how nice they are, and I can't believe she actually got us one. That's so nice of her. Cool. Ooh, that one's nice. Yeah. That'll be That's nice. That's cool. Adventure awaits. I guess we gotta go and plan another road trip to Montana. Thanks, guys. This is awesome. And finally got a new sweater. I don't have to wear that same Patagonia one. <laughs> I get to wear a 511 with the epic pockets. It's gonna be perfect. Thanks again, guys. Hey, with this the green is good. Yeah, that's really nice. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's probably all like 165 <laughs> bucks or something. The entire wow. wow. That's a cheap thing. Look at The entire Louis oh, Lamore collection. A bunch wow. of these I haven't read. <laughs> I read a whole bunch of them as a kid, but. I don't think I've wow. seen this one. Whew, this is hey. crazy. Attack its land. We're gonna have to it's make crazy. a bigger bookshelf then. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Cool. That's crazy, all these. Actually. This is beautiful. Timmy, it was great meeting you at the Overland Expo West. Uh, thanks for watching our videos, supporting our channel, and thank you for sending these books up to us. These books are really special because they, they've got all the, uh, the Wild West American history that we love so much. and. Um, as a kid, I read these, and when we were going through places like Arizona and Montana and Wyoming and all those states, I was reliving stories that I read about the Wild West from Louis L'Amour. So, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Remember that one? Hondo. Yeah. The Far Blue Mountains. Yeah. The Lonely Mountains. The Ferguson Rifles. Hey, we can Mando, this is the one that yeah. the yeah. dog's named after. getting a nice thick smoke ring going and then we're going to turn the temperature up maybe one more hour and we'll do that Today we bought a new uh, meat thermometer. This one's designed for leaving the probe in the meat and uh, this one wasn't. <laughs> this is the one we had before which worked great but we left it in and it melted. The battery fell out and it stopped working. So this one's designed to just put it in, get your reading and, to, and take it out. Hopefully we'll have, we'll have better luck with this guy where the, uh, the digital part stays outside of the smoker and the probe. It stays inside the meat. So these uh, pork shoulders have been on here for eight hours now. And I'm just going to pull them off and I think it's time to pull them.
we'll see you down the road.